Hello everyone, I'm Colin Kinnett. Today is just a quick little two or three minute video, no article on this one. A few days ago I received an email from a new subscriber and he said, Colin, you've made so many jigs, can you tell me which ones you find the most useful? And I thought, you know what, that's a good idea, maybe I'll make a little video on that, so let's do that. Well, easily the most used jig in my workshop is this little drill press uh, fence and it uses a couple of mag switches and that means you can lock it down in any position so it's super handy to use but when it's locked down it's very secure to the deck and when you're using it for drilling because the material can't spin when the drill bit goes into it it makes it very safe to use as well so this is an excellent jig. This is my little portable assembly frame and I use it for putting all sorts of things together to make sure I get absolutely square corners. For example, boxes and that's because both arms here are at a perfect 90 degree angle. I also use it for putting together door frames so that I make sure that they're absolutely correct. But I even use it for putting together picture frames because I can get perfect corners by putting the two ends in there. And if I'm using pocket holes for example, I can use these little portable clamps that I put in here with a couple of screws and it will clamp everything down and keep it secure for pocket holing and for gluing. So just a super handy little assembly jig. Another jig that gets a lot of use in my workshop is this triangle jig that fits on my sliding miter saw. And what I use it for is for making long flowing cuts so that I get a narrower angle on a piece of wood that I'm cutting. For example, I, I don't have to be stuck with only 45 degrees like the saw will cut. I can make long flowing cuts simply by clamping on the wood and making sure that it's secure and make a nice long cut. And that's just how easy a jig like that can make perfect little points like that. And what you want to look for in, in a jig like that is where you want to get all of your cuts sort of all at the same distance. That's what you want to look for to get a nice even point. Well, there you go. Three of my most used jigs in the workshop. Thanks for watching.